GPU support for Cloud Run services is available today in preview. It is today available in the US Central One region and specifically for NVIDIA L4 GPU. This is a GPU with 24 gigabytes of GPU memory and the specs that you see here. And the fact that this is available in Cloud Run means you can have a serverless deployment model that auto scales based on demand, including the ability to scale down to zero. And then you may be wondering about cold start time. So typical values are the ones you see here for those different models and model sizes. It's actually pretty good compared to what you can achieve with virtual machines, for example. Do note that four bit quantized versions of the models were used here. But let's take a look now at how you would set that up. So in the Google Cloud Console, let's open Cloud Shell to deploy some resources that we're gonna need. First, I'll create an artifact registry repository this is just a repository for Docker containers. Next, I'm going to create a Docker file for an Olama application that runs the Gemma 2 9B open model. You'll have, by the way, access to this file here. It's a, in a link in the video description. Now let's build this container and then we'll use that and deploy it to Cloud Run. First, we run gcloud build submit and that will basically do something similar to Docker build. Okay, now the build process has completed and we have our container in the artifact registry repository that we created earlier. So we can see the container here. And now let's go over to Cloud Run to deploy our Olama container to a service. So first we select the container URL here. We'll keep the region US Central one. We'll select require authentication here. So it's a private endpoint and over here in the container configuration, I'll give the container eight CPUs and 32 gigabytes of memory, and I'll attach a GPU. The NVIDIA L4 GPU is still only available today. So this will be enough for us to run our Gemma 2 9B model. Now there are a couple more configurations we need to set here. CPU is always allocated is a required configuration. The maximum number of instances needs to be seven because that's my quota for how many GPUs I can have in my project. I also limit the number of concurrent requests to four, a reasonable amount for the settings I have. And I'll increase the request timeout to 600 seconds. I'll select a service account that I created earlier for my app. It doesn't really need access to any service. And I'll go ahead and create this. Okay, now my Cloud Run service is up and we can test inference using our Gemma model. I will go back to my cloud shell here. And I'll run a command here to proxy the request to my application through to my local uh, server here in cloud shell. So that way I can test locally, even though my service is running on cloud run. So I'll run a curl command on local host and the port that I'm proxy connections to. And I'm asking why is this guy blue? And in a few seconds, well, exactly 10 seconds or so for the first word, we started getting our streamed responses here. The last thing to note is that you do need to sign up to have access to Cloud Run GPU support. It's a form like this that you'll find a link for in the video description. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.